Hey guys, Ryan with Guadney Performance. I uh, wanted to take a couple minutes to do a video on HP Tuner's MPVI 2. It's uh, setting this thing up. Primarily, we're doing this for our remote tuning customers. Uh, so hopefully uh, this will help out I'm getting it installed, registered with HP Tuners, and being able to use the VCM editor and the scanner as well. So first thing you want to do, uh, take your MPVI 2 and unbox this unit. So it's uh, packaged nicely. Remove this thing from the package. You're going to have a jump drive. You don't have to use this um, to install the program. Actually, we like going to HP Tuner's website, which I'll cover here in a moment. Uh, to get the latest version of the software. They update this software a lot, so always use the latest software version uh, when you're working with us remotely. You have your USB cable to connect to the interface, and uh, this is the interface. Uh, USB is gonna plug in, you're gonna plug the other end into your, uh, your PC. And uh, we're gonna go to hptuners.com. You're going to have to register your account over here on the right side um, if you've never logged in before. It's basic information, username, password, name, it's very basic. Once you set your account up and you log in, it's going to pull your dashboard up. At this point, you're going to go to downloads and you're going to download VCM Suite and uh, VCM Suite Beta. We use the beta software for remote tuning. We use the beta software on most of the jobs in the shop. Be sure to install both of these. You've got your MPVI 2 drivers um, and you're not going to have to worry about MPVI 1 drivers because the MPVI original device is phased out. You can't even buy those anymore unless you find those used. Once you uh, click and install the software, uh, I'll show you exactly what it's gonna look like on your desktop. You're gonna connect the device to your computer, the USB. I'm gonna open up the beta software. Warning, you're going to use uh, beta software. So, once the uh, VCM editor or the beta VCM editor is open, you click on Resync Interface. You need to be connected to the internet for this. As you can see, it's programming this device right now, getting it ready for use. Firmware update completed. Hit OK. Easy as that. Um, now the device is actually ready for use, but you're not ready yet. You need to register your device now on HP Tuner's website. You're going to go to Help. You're going to hit MPVI2 Verification Code. Now you can see this is the serial number of this particular device. It's a verification code. So you're going to take your verification code for your cable. You're going to copy that. I'm going to go back over here to HP Tuners. Go to your dashboard. My devices. And you're going to scroll down to MPVI2. Uh, put your device serial number in. Verification ID that we just copied. And import that. These devices don't come with any credits. Reason being, some vehicles take two credits. Uh, if you do the fuel pump or fuel supply control module, that's an additional credit, so you may need three if you want to do that. 2017 and newer GM uh, need additional credits. You need four for the ECM, um, plus the TCM if you send it off to be unlocked on the 8-speed, the 17 and up, or the 10-speed, 
they have to be physically unlocked and you have to have four additional credits for that. Okay, so you click on my devices, you come down, you're gonna see your device displayed, you click add credits. So uh, let's say we have a 2010 or 2010 to 15, let's say a fifth generation Camaro. You're gonna need two credits. You're gonna add to cart, it's very simple. View cart. You're going to make that purchase. Uh, proceed to check out. You're going to carry that purchase on out. Once that purchase is complete, you now own those credits. To retrieve those credits and put them on this device, you simply go to help and you resync the interface again. It will resync with the credits and it will tell you that the credits are added and you're basically ready to go.